confident uh, about the fact that I have done absolutely nothing wrong and neither have any of my co-accused. Um, um, I saw this coming the day we lost uh, the election and uh, it was announced that the other side had won. Um, I saw this coming. We all saw this coming. I refused to leave the country, just as I refused to leave the country in 2008 when I was accused of things then. And I said, and I told you and others at that time that I was innocent. It took me seven years uh, to end that matter. And I was declared innocent by the court. I have absolutely no doubt that at the end of this particular exercise, uh, I will be declared innocent by the court simply because it is very obvious that this is a politically motivated uh, allegation. All of them, uh, not just this, but other allegations, uh, which may come later, are politically motivated. And we've all been subjected to a media trial. And um, at the end of the day, the courts will determine the truth. And I have absolute confidence in the Nigerian judiciary, which is why I've refused to leave the country. Uh, 4.9 billion fraud charges brought against you and your co-accused, and one would be wondering that you, I mean, one of the charges is that you are, uh, uh, that you partook, you knew that some of these funds were, were stolen from the, the, these funds are stolen and uh, you, you got those monies. Uh, did you get any money for election or from anybody? For example, did you get money from uh, the former NSA? They may have written it in a few newspapers. They may have said so. But not even the EFCC have said that. Not even they have said that. Look at the charges. And now, I'm not diminishing the seriousness of the issue. But the allegation is that 1.5 billion naira was given to um, Mrs. Nenadi Usman, who was director of, the, of, of um, finance for the campaign organization, by a government agency. And um, that she mixed that money together with about 4 billion from you know, private um, sources, campaign funds, and so on and so forth. And then she now distributed that money um, to, uh, you know, to fund the campaign organization and also to fund the, the various states, all our operations in the states, all our zonal coordinators, and so on and so forth, because the money came from that same account. Now, where the 4 billion, 4 point whatever billion comes from, I really don't know. Now, you asked a direct question, did I receive money from any government agency for my operations within um, the campaign? The answer is no, and neither has it been alleged that I did. What has been alleged is simple and clear, that our director of finance sent money out to the various directors, including me, from her own private account, our company account, um, for us to run our operations. Of that money, I ran my own uh, particular directorate, the media and publicity. I was given only 10% of what I needed, very small, about 800 million naira to run a campaign for three months. And we utilized that money. She, did, she herself did not know uh, the source of that money because, you know, people made contributions. And you didn't know too? Of course we didn't know. None of us knew. How could I possibly know? And you didn't get any personal How money could I apart from the, from the campaign? Absolutely none. How could I possibly know? Do you regret working with Jonathan Kahn? Why on earth would I regret doing that? Facing charges that, that, that brings me no regret. Let me remind you, I'm not the only person that's been facing charges. Over the years since independence, Obasanjo faced charges. He went to prison.